All right, ladies and gentlemen, Southern Republic back with you. It's been a few days since I've uploaded a video. I just realized that. I know, it's weird. I got busy. Crazy, right? So, been doing some stuff for uh, Tactical Hadouken. Uh, made a couple intro videos for him for some stuff he's going to be coming out with. So, definitely be looking for that. Uh, I will uh, annotate his channel below. Um, definitely check him out. Good stuff. Funny stuff. Very interesting. So, got a package here. So, this is going to be a combo unboxing and review. Because this is a knife I used to have and I lost. Um, don't know how I lost it, but I lost it. So, let's get started with the opening using the uh, Spyderco Resilience today. Yeah, I know these things just pull right open, but it's an unboxing. We gotta cut it open. You know, let's see. A package inside a package. How dastardly. Let's see, did I get through to where it is? Like packages inside of packages inside of packages. And there we go. All right, it is a bird knife by Spider Co. So let's check out which one it is. This is the Bird Meadow Lark 2. So let's see, look at that. Oop. There we go. So we've got the Meadow Lark. I don't know if you can see that. Metal Lark 2 by Bird. So, love this knife. It's a favorite of mine. Alrighty, so let's get on with this review here. We're going to be talking today about the Bird Metal Lark 2. And like I said uh, earlier, I actually used to have one of these for a while. Um, I carried it for a few months and uh, I forget what I did. I hooked it on the back of a bag or on the side of a bag. And I must have lost it somehow because I never saw it again. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and talk quickly about the specs. With the specs out of the way real fast. So, as you can tell, I have a little bit of a sinus issue today. Not fun, but whatever. So, let me zoom in on that so you can get a full frame view of it. All right. So let's talk about the Metal Arc 2. So we got an overall length of 6.8 inches, a blade length of 2.9 inches, a handle of 4.1 inches. That makes up your 6.8. Not really, it makes more like seven. But, okay. Gotta love the Spyderco website. <laughs> Never the most accurate sizing. Um, I do want to compare it to something that is very comparable that a lot of us have is the Delica 4. I told you to shine the light off that. <laughs> it's all blinding. So as you can tell, I'm going to line up the tips. There we go. So as you can tell, the Delica has basically the same blade size and blade shape, but the Delica's handle is slightly longer. So. On the Bird, we have a handle length of 4.1 inches, and on the Delica, we have a handle length of 4.25 inches. So, 0.15 inch difference. Uh, let's see, overall, this is 7, and this is about 7. It's about 7 and a quarter, it's about 7. Uh, 2.9 inch blade on both of them. Uh, 13, or 12 millimeter spider hole. Uh, 12 millimeter variant, variation spider hole for that Bird look. Um, when it comes to the weight, you have 2.4 ounces on the Metal Arc and you have 2.5 on the Delica 4 because of that slightly longer handle. And uh, both handles are uh, FRN, fiberglass reinforced nylon. Uh, this Metal Arc is running the 8CR13MOV 8 Chinese steel, where the Delica has the Seiki City VG10 steel. So that's kind of the big differences right off the bat. Uh, the major difference is going to be in the price. This is about 20 bucks. This is about 50 bucks. So obviously you can tell. <laughs> Get that out of there. Um, I do like the Delica. I do like carrying it. Um, but for $50, I don't really want to lose it <laughs> or beat it up. But for 20 bucks, like I said, I wasn't heartbroken when I lost the first one. Um, same lockup. It's a, a back lock. 
So same kind of deployment, you know, it's brand new, so it's still a little stiff. You know, locks up like a tank, you know, like all Spyderco blades do. You know, I love these knives. The one thing on this knife that you have that you do not have on the Delica, if you can tell, is the 50-50 finger choil right here, where half the choil is made up on the blade, the other half on the handle. You really don't have that in the Delica. You can put your finger here, but you run the risk of running it up if you pull on it. So you really have to kind of get stay back here with this one, as opposed to the Metal Lark where you really can choke up on that and get real good, get a really good blade uh, grip. Or you can sit back here on it, you know, or you can get that choked up. So I really like the fact that this, as well as the Kara Kara 2, and most of the bird line, have that 50-50 choil on them, which I really like. So I think it's just a really wonderful knife, personally. Bird. Zoom out here. Just to show you how sharp these come out of the box, this is that packaging that it came in, and I'll just show you. I mean, it just, like butter, slides right through that. I mean, that's slide through two pieces and bubble wrap. Here, we'll go through a couple of layers right here. I mean, just, you know, just cuts right through that, which I freaking love. You can even stab in and slice out. I mean, no effort whatsoever. So I really, really like that. For deployment speed, these deploy just as well as any Spyderco. This one's a little new, so it's still a little stiff. But here, I can actually show you what I do with new blades. So anytime I get a new blade, I always bust out the WD-40 and a rag. Hold on, let me get a rag. As I hit the camera like three different times, sorry. So, rag, WD-40. So I like to spritz just a little bit right in there and then close the blade and I get a little spritz right in there and then what I like to do with them is I like to just to work it back and forth a little bit lock it up a couple of times get a good couple of open and closing lock in just kind of popping and locking popping and lock okay I'm being stupid sorry and then we, I'm gonna take it off camera to do this, just kind of wipe it off because I don't really want to stab myself. You've seen me stab myself once. Let's not do it again. All right, the WD-40 out of the way. So let's see if that helps the deployment. There we go. There we go. See, loosened it up just enough. Let's see. No side to side. No up and down, I like that. Brand new, so it shouldn't. There we go. I have the same problem on my Delica, honestly, with the deployment. Oh, of course, now it won't do it that I set it. So I've had to break that one in, and I have to break this one in. You gotta break in all new knives when you gotta deploy. So, there we go. There we go, now we're working. So, like I said, the lockup is fantastic. It is a, uh, a back locking knife. The handle again is FRN, fiberglass reinforced nylon. You do get a good grip, even with my size hands, you can really get a good grip on this, especially where you can choke up on that 50-50 choil. So you can really get your whole hand on this knife. Even back here, I can, I can still get my pinky and my whole hand on that knife. For the clip, it does have a similar clip. You know, it's a little bit wider, slightly longer actually too, um, than the uh, Delica's clip. But that's not a bad thing, you know, so it's definitely stiff. <laughs> you may have to bend that just a little bit. Uh, durability, like I said, the one I had before, I beat the Ever Loving Tar out of because it was my everyday carry and I just used it all the time. Um, you can see I got a little WD-40 on that. Let me wipe that off. Okay, there we go. As for value, again, the uh, 
The Bird, you can find these for around $20, eh, around $25 really, after with shipping. And the Delica is you're going to be around $50 to $55. So, and like I said, it's essentially the same knife. Slightly, you know, a little bit shorter on the handle on the Bird than the Delica. You know, same blade shape, pretty much. Different opening, of course, because it's the Bird line as opposed to the Spyderco line. But I think it's just a quality knife and a, an EDC essential, in my opinion. Uh, this one will be riding in my cargo pocket like it used to as my kind of backup utility blade. So that's what I got to say on it. As always, Semper Fi. Have a nice day.